draw? X Pro. Draw. Yeah, bro, right. Shut up! I'm doing interview! But seriously, how can you draw? Who the f is he doing? Hey, hey, hey. He's losing chess. He's, he's losing. Mom, I, lose. he's I have mom. eight pieces and he's bonding! You, you, how old are you? <laughs> Hello, guys. Stop fucking singing, bro. Hello guys, the guys are uh, ready to answer some of your questions that you have submit. All the questions can be about Counter Strike 2, so let's go. All right, guys. First question from Neon it says specifically for Twist, how does the subtick servers feel? Uh, I think they don't feel as like clean as 128 tick but I feel like it's somewhere in between. I think the important thing is, is that every jump throw is the exact same. So I think that uh, is probably why they made it like that. But yeah, I, I think it can feel good or better than 20, 128, but they have to keep working on it. XProW or XPro, he asks, uh, how do you think PX kids on Inferno will be affected due to no skybox? Uh, this is a very interesting aspect. I think, you know, it's not specifically PX kids, but any map, any position, any, grenade will be affected um, and so many new scenarios will be created. Inferno especially, it's a very classic map with a closed skybox and you have a wall between A and B so you cannot throw A to, a to B. How that will play out, you know, no one knows. It used to be very OP on, on the city side that you can smoke from A to B back in the days when it was open as well. Um, you know, you can just throw fire smoke from banana, keep blocking them. You, there's no way they can go B, right? So we'll have to see. Obviously the new smokes, there's Way more chances to, to create gaps and um, entry the bomb site. So I think it's a very interesting dynamic. You know, at one on one side you can do better smokes and do more interesting strats, but on the other side the smokes might not be so powerful anymore. So we'll have to see. And the third one is from Hanobi. Will this immediately become the new esport, or will CS:GO continue out to the end of the year? First major of CS2 this year. Uh, obviously, we don't have uh, that type of information, but. I do think the smart thing to do would be to completely change over to Counter-Strike 2 during the professional player break so that events on after that will be played on the new version and then you know teams can decide if they don't have a break at all and they just grind the game, which is perfectly fine. I think that's something that would be expected now given that a new game is basically out. And yeah, I think that's a... Uh, that's the way it should be, and I hope that's the way it will be. We got a question here from AMD Bakiev. Uh, are the sprays of the guns different? Um, as far as I know, all the, the patterns and spray patterns and everything like that is the same as in CSGO. So the game feels very similar to CSGO. Um, the only change is uh, the smokes and the, the visual aids. Spoof asks, how do the subtick updates feel in your time with the test? You wouldn't notice something visually, but there definitely has to be a noticeable difference playing it. The sub update from Valve is definitely a work in progress. Um, I feel like this was the, the point which I could criticize the most um, in, in the time I tested the game. Because we know that 128 tick works and you know they're trying to invent something completely new, which may be used in other games already. I'm probably wrong here uh, about it being new. So they're just trying to bring it to CS. And so far it felt like it was more uh, like 64 tick than 128. I think I saw some comments about people mentioning the servers, which while views, they're still 64 tick, so maybe that has something to do with it. And you know, the funny thing is also they're actually hiding the net graph in, in CS2 right now, so you can't really have much information regardless of, of um, how it feels right now. So we don't know precisely what's happening, but you know, it's still a beta, so I hope that it's gonna get better because right now it does feel a bit worse than 120, 128 tick. So um, let's give them some time and uh, see if they can make it work. Uh, Penguin asks, will Rocky smile more playing CS2? The answer is yes, maybe. I hope. Thank you for the question. Bye. See you. Bye bye. Fists asks, what are their thoughts on grenade lineups for both regular and jumping ones? And overall grenade usage? as nades are seemingly going to be precisely accurate in landing all the time due to the new sub secret system being implemented and in what ways could these uh, things be affected by this change. Um, so, so so far from my experience the jump, jump, jump throw grenades are slightly different from CSGO so if you do a jump throw in CS2 and you do a jump throw in CS1 then it felt to me that the smoke in CS2 will go a bit further and I'm pretty sure that has to do with the fact that Valve um, implemented a change where when you just jump and you release your smoke, it's always going to be the same. 
and it's 100% consistent. I haven't seen, you know, a smoke which has been inconsistent so far. So they've, I think it's a good change. Um, you don't need a jump throw bind anymore and everyone can easily throw the same smokes, whether you're a pro or a casual. So I think for, for the general, general audience of CSGO or CS2, sorry, uh, that's an uh, extremely good change. Cam OPB, do you prefer the new smokes over the CSGO smokes? Um, I think there's a couple of things that are cool with the smokes, like you can shoot the edges and stuff like that. I, I think the, the HE to, to remove the entire smoke is uh, a little bit too much. I think there has to be a small change with it, but it'll be fun to see how it is at the release. Jack asks a lot of questions here. But um, I will pick one of them, which is anything in particular that you're excited to try out in pro play. I think the biggest thing that everyone is excited to try is just how to see how smokes work in all the maps and how many you know different timings you can create with all the new options you have with the nades with shooting through. I think someone put it really good. It's it's not entirely game changing, but it's like an extra option. To, to whatever strategy you're trying to play. Black Flipper CS says, what everyone say about the new smoke? Um, I think the new smokes are a bit interesting. I think it's hard to uh, one-way uh, certain uh, smokes now, and the ability to blow up the green, uh, smoke or shoot through it and find gaps is a new element to the game. And uh, I think it's a better way to balance the smokes. All those certain things are gone. Like you can't really uh, sit inside of a smoke and, and fade it and have the advantage on the, on the CT. I think that's uh, it's now a 50-50 duel for either person on inside and outside. So I think uh, the new smokes will take time to get used to, but I don't think they're that bad. Real human being with a Brokey avatar. He asks, uh, what do you think about the new feature follow recoil? Does it help with improving your aim? I think uh, this change is very interesting. I think for me, I tried it out and I, I just could not get used to it. You know, it's something completely different that we haven't seen before. So I think for players who have played for a long time, I don't think they will use it, but you know, it could be like a generational thing where like new players might try this out and it's actually better. So we'll have to see. I'm not sure if people will switch this, but it's definitely uh, an interesting setting to have. Thank you guys for so many beautiful questions. Uh, there's a beautiful question there from Ahmed. Uh, where is Brookie OnlyFans? I am actually his manager in that uh, subject, so it will come soon. Expect some really good quality Brookie. <laughs> Make sure to subscribe to Faith Esports for more content like this.